Okay, it says we're live. Oh, good. Then... Uh, oh, I should probably scoot. <laughs> can we see you? <laughs> Not at all. But I'm going to wait till you get plugged in. Okay, there we go. Well, I'm sorry, you can see a shoulder. Okay. So, like, what are we going to need to do? Just a second. We got to wait. Wait. <laughs> The best part of any stream is waiting to see if if the the people talking are in focus. Okay, I think I'm here. If you kind of turn the computer towards me a tiny bit, I think the that'll. Best part of streaming live is Jesse talking jive. Yeah. Wow. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's like sometimes your little jingles just get worse. Yeah. <laughs> But um, we should be good. Is there? Oh, that's from the big screen, right? Like the Ling Time logo is not squarely on my face, is it? Um, I don't know. Uh, hold on a sec. How do I? Where's the? Oh, focus. Yeah. Do not disturb. Mm -hmm. That's that's what it's called. Okay. Uh, yeah, it is. <laughs> Is this your subtle way of saying you're you're so over my wet hair look whenever I show up to these things? Like, that is that always the case? No, because the, we're streaming from this. We're streaming from this. Here, we can fix that if you want. <laughs> yeah, let's see. We'll we'll make you uh, we'll make this a little bit bigger. See what happens here. <laughs> it's really funny. You don't um, want to make you too much bigger. Well, now it's like the little TV antenna is picking my nose. Maybe I should sit up higher. Maybe I shouldn't slouch. There we go. I mean, you know what? We could just go nuts and put us up here. How about how about that? I mean, that would avoid the problem. Here, and I can make us smaller. This, okay. You don't want us to be too big. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. And so now. All right. Okay, so today we are going to be working on Lexember entries for Tapatla because we're going to be traveling and uh, we're not going to have time to do them. And just like we're not going to have time to do a live episode tomorrow, uh, we really, um, we're really displaying a lot of skill and expertise and professionalism, I think, this month. I think, I, I think regardless of how professional you are, sometimes you can't avoid the fact that you're going to be on a plane at a certain time of the day. Like, Couldn't one? Not if those are the only tickets that are available to the location that you need to go to get there by the time you need to get to that location. True enough. Can you bring both water bottles over here? I want to show everybody something. Okay. Yeah, there's, there's one. Okay, and the other. Now look at this. See, there's this logo for this water bottle, and then there's this logo for this water bottle. Obviously the same logo, but look, they're slightly different. They're slightly different. Evidently, Jesse's has the old logo, and mine has the streamlined version of the logo. Yeah. Jesse's is a registered trademark. This one's up for grabs, apparently, at least according to the bottle. Interesting. Yeah. But is Hydro Flask? <gasps> It's not even registered at the bottom. Mine is. Nope. Oh. It doesn't say. Uh, let's see here. Hydroflask.com, temp shield insulation, 21 ounces. Uh, yeah, not nothing anywhere else. Mm. Mm. But, okay. Yeah, we need some Luxember entries. Yep. Um, All right. We got them. Oh, wait, we had a whole list of ideas. Um, we did? What we needed, yeah. Remember in our um, in our special, uh, you know, our patrons, our people. Mm -hmm. Goodness, words are coming to me today. This is going to be an amazing stream to watch <laughs> as David sings and looks at logos and I can't remember how to say patrons. Yeah. Um, did I tell you about Meridian's new new little friend? His name is Chompy. <laughs> and he basically, as far as I can tell, Chompy has a funny little voice and he just bites you when you're doing something Chompy doesn't want. Nice. 
Keep All right. Calling me. Okay. So yeah, we had this whole list that we came up with in our patron live stream last month. I don't remember that at all. Um, that's where we got our first seven entries from. Now I remember it. All right. Obviously, the entire, on page 13, Luxember to Remember meant a whole lot to you. It did. So, I still need to get you those fonts. Um, yes, you do. But that is where, and then we had, um, we added a few, and I saw that you added one for um, the 10th. So I think we need 21 more. And I'm going to verify that. I'm going to check our... I did add one for the 10th. What was it? Well, I don't want to say it here. This episode's going to go live before the 10th. I suppose you're right. But you can see it right here. Yeah. Oh, there it is. So we need 21 more entries. What a word that was. Really, today we need to get at least... Well, assuming we do another Patreon live stream, we could work with them on anything at the end of the month. Mm -hmm. But we need to get... I would like at least 10 more entries, if not 14, okay. for a nice solid two week. Um, Good deal. Now, as we look at this list, um, if you want to like have it on your screen, since that's the one people can see. Ugh. Who is calling me? I am so sorry. Let me try to... No, I don't even want to be reminded. I just... I guess I'll have to decline. There we go. What, uh, what channel? I'm sorry, what page? 13. You can find my cursor. <laughs> I need to uh, put mine on Do Not Disturb. There we go. Mm. Um, and so this is the list we came up with. Um, you'll see... Um, These can be in black now? They can. Yeah. Oh, and by tomorrow, you're going to see the ninth word. So we're good for that. Uh, we haven't entered them in the dictionary, though. I think that's why I left them in red, because I was checking with you. Um, oh, I did. Oh, you entered them? Yeah, I don't know about that one. <laughs> but I entered that one. Did I enter it? Did you? Um, no, I sure didn't. Well, let's find another one that ends in the... Okay, so we'll we'll just get it from. Oh yeah, because I didn't know how it was going to mean coffee. Was it just going to mean coffee? Um, like that's it. We're going to say anything else about it? The fact that it <clears throat> comes from from chicory. Um, I would say coffee specifically. Um, um, you know, say something that because I think we had said that coffee could mean different things to them than it does to us so it's not just that it's coffee it's um the, their expectation if you offer them coffee is that it's going to be based on chicory all right coffee um made of chicory root yeah boiled there from <laughs> mm. Mm. Nice and flavorful. Mm -hmm. A real pick me up. Indeed. Damn fine. There we are. Um. Cool. So, <laughs> don't forget to change the spelling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm getting there. I like mm. coffee on the English side. Okay, and this is just the Dossi, which sounds like, um, you know, a teenage, uh, you know, a teenage high school drama. Oh my god, did you watch the Dossi? That's totally what it sounds like. It does. Um, okay, so Thank now we've got that in the dictionary, me. which means we have all the other ones in the dictionary, right? Like die and beat and all of those yes okay. oh look we have a word for cave that's that's nice yes we do um okay so moving on mm -hmm. on our list 
Um, some of the ones coming up. So the reason we prioritize these first nine is that we knew that we were going to create just straight up new roots for some of them and then yeah. use those roots to build new words for others. And so like we prioritize them up top. Um, there are a few more that I think we can do that with or at least discuss like spoon. We could discuss maybe 100%. just having a root. Yeah. Um, also like warm spoon. axe. Spoon. Um, oh yeah to weave so it's like we have some others that that we could do that um what we um definitely can't do and won't be able to do in Luxembourg is that um we had discussed during our patron live stream that while the word for coffee would be native mm -hmm. uh that everyone wanted to borrow the word for tea from the cat language I think that's and a good idea. i love that idea but that means like we cannot do <laughs> for obvious reasons mm -hmm. we cannot do that for Luxembourg so that's going to have to be a hey I hope we remember that when we create the ta the cat language I just said the tack language it's a, it's a good day wow yeah just absolutely reverse that yeah is that even possible well I just did it oh wow I wouldn't have thought that was possible um I mean just say it backwards yeah but we're not supposed to have that level of knowledge right Ah, oh, but I'm a sage. Mm. <laughs> there we go. Okay, okay. So, sage. Oh, I like the ring of that. Um, and then some of these we also need Did to. Did you not order. get my pun? Did neither you nor Angie get my pun? Angie, patron, nice to see you. Oh no, I did. I meant to send you, uh, I, I meant to respond in like an eye-rolling gif. Instead, neither of you Sorry. said anything. Sorry. Absolutely I will, I will pull devastating. my phone closer. Absolutely and, um, devastating. No, 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 no. Don't, don't say anything because now, now uh -huh. you have to wait for Angie to say something. We have to see how long it's going to take. It'll take forever. As she in, was, it'll never happen. She was just, she had just responded. I was lightning quick with that response. Okay, so note to anyone who receives text messages from David, if he drops a very cheesy pun in the, the string of messages. It was messages, an amazing pun. He expects um, a response. It was an amazing pun. And not pun. just a <laughs> kind of response, it which was, is what I did. It was an incredible pun. All right. Spoon! Cool. I'm going to move this up here. How do we get things that... Oh, they don't need to be in order. Well, it helps me. Um, like, we don't have to do it as our next Luxember entry, but like if we're working on it right now, it helps me to put all the ones we've done also so I can keep count. So This is cool. Anyone who watches this is going to find out all our Luxember entries for the next however many. Yeah, that's why I didn't understand why you why it was a big deal that uh, they find out what was on the 10th. Cool, then we'll enter it here because what is the big deal? Are you really putting them in order? I am counting. They're not really in order. We didn't do those in the right order, but they are in an... They are so that if they are finished, they're up here. And also so I can, again, see how many words we've created for Luxember. You should know that we also have a separate list and a shared note that has these in order. Yes, I, I am a mouse at heart, and I love the double verification. I appreciate that. All right. Now. Okay. What do you think about something beginning with W for spoon? Oh, you know I love W words. You're the one who doesn't. Mm -hmm. So That's why I thought I'd throw you a bone. If you're willing to W it up, speaking of Dazi, here we go. All right. Except it's not chicory. So we're going to need something that begins with a F or a... Let's see. F or a... Oops, sorry. <laughs> oh, you know what? Like I, I discovered a crazy thing about spelling. 
Um, that's gonna make this crazy. So what? So fr. What do you think it should end with? Fr. God, I hate this word. Uh, <laughs> fr. Well, at Frig? this point, let's just let's do Frig? an L. Let's make it really horrible. Well, there there is no L, of course. There is right there. Is there a proto L in this language? Yes. Fr. Okay. I guess you're right. That's right. It's the mouse language where they're not distinguished. And also the rabbit language. Wish. Wish. Oh, wow. That's a word you've got to love. So remember, it's a voiceless W. So it's wish. Wish. You like that? Wish. This language is so weird. <laughs> and you know the you know the best part? It's the uh, the palatalizing barred eye that led to that, because when the palatalized barred eye is a main vowel, it goes it from u to uh, it backs, and so it doesn't actually palatalize, and so that's how we go from frill to wish. That's a word. You like that? You like that for spoon? Grab your wish, wish. Sure. <laughs> it could be for something else. I mean, it's a word I'm not going to be able to say regardless, so we may as well. We'll give it a try. You you can do the hua, of course. That's a part of our language. I'm sure you say it all the time. Where are you getting to? <laughs> That's exactly how I talk. What oh, needs washed? Right? No, I do not have a Warsh dialect. <laughs> you also don't have a Hua dialect. You have to roll no, with me here. No, but like I'm more willing to, to go on board with the Hua than I am with the, <laughs> the Warsh. Where are is, y'all yeah. going to Washington? <laughs> <laughs> this is David's bizarre break from reality. <laughs> And I love how at the outset I'm like, hey, if we could get at least 10 words. Now, 20 minutes in, we maybe have one? Yeah. So, look, it doesn't need to be for Spoon if you feel very, if you have an affinity for Spoon. It could be for something else. Um, I think it needs to be for warm or for firewood. Because it's like, whoosh. Okay. (laughs) Now, actually for fire no well if we do it could be that but i i mean firewood i thought that was pretty good uh we do have a word for fire (laughs) oh yeah of course we do because i've drawn fires yeah zoom but Um, kindling or firewood yeah i really like that um let's find a protoform that ends in that let's try to find one that's not palatalized oh there we are cave of course Alexander, remember. I think I. Let's say one, two, three. Oh no, because it's gonna be four. It's gonna be four. I get it. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Whoosh. So that's W. U. O. And then this is going to be W-U, I'm pretty sure. And then, yeah, this was, and this was, yeah. Oh, wait. F-R. This is our first K word in English. Oh. Kindling, firewood, and you know it's onomatopoeic in the modern language. Is it in the proto? Frl, frl. Well, I think it's just a bizarre coincidence. Okay. Not onomatopoeic. Okay. So F R Y L is how it's spelled. But 
But I will say that fruit reminds me of wood. Strong. All right. Yeah. All right. So it's a good proto form. It, it just yeah. the entire whoosh thing is lost. I'm gonna double check this. I just want to be sure. I'm pretty sure, but yeah, it's just a U. Um, and I want to be sure. Oh, actually, what had happened with this? Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. There might be some mischief happening here. Um, also, this is a noun, and we didn't fully do it out. I think because it couldn't have... Like, some of them, we had odd nouns that wouldn't take... No, 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 reflection wouldn't be like that. Well, that sounds like a you problem, because mm. on my end... I enter the English side. Mm. I think that must be your. Fair enough. Uh, all right, let's see what happens. Okay. That's, uh, so then that's going to be. Uh, Okay, and now we need to figure out the other ones. You um, couldn't just put a dash he there because the form is exactly the same. So it is. Thank you. Um, that's not one of the ones that changes. So we need to figure out what happens with the Z and the UZ. What, and so I need to figure out what those protoforms are. I don't suppose you remember. Um, yeah, it's um, ooze and... Um, it's just is. Because one is litter and one is child. Oh, here we go. Um, Zuf is that one. Okay. And child was the other one. Which would be Ug. Okay. Child of. Well, let's let's see what hap what we have here. Oh, see the actual protoform is Ug. Okay, well, it does count as a C initial form. <clears throat> and it is voiceless. And when it's voiceless, it gets a Z. Mm -hmm. And Z. Okay, okay, that actually, that actually helps. Um, so this one is going to be Z. And then that's the same for this. That's fairly simple. But the, the next one is going to be is. Let me, I'm going to go to T to confirm that. Yeah, z and then is. Okay, so we need to figure out what's going to happen with is in front of these forms. Um. Yeah, it's gonna ooh, it's gonna come right back. It's gonna come right back. Look at this. This is pretty cool. Okay, so this one's gonna be is and this one is going to be is Well, hmm, or will it be that? Let's see. Uh, that is some craziness. Yeah, vril. Is vril. Is vril. Yeah. Not, not a voiceless L at the end? Yes, it is. Uh, I'm sorry. Is vril. Is vril. And that's a, a, a bilabial. Is vril. Is vril. Is vril. Yeah, it was rough. That's it. <clears throat> cool. Yeah. So, let's uh, think of another word. Ever tell you about my first presentation at uh, Boulder? Um, I think you did, but like, I don't uh, know where you're going with the story. I mean, I, I've told you a couple things about that, but this one, yeah. There was somebody who was trying to blow me up at the end. It's like, She's, she's asked me, why do all of your languages sound the same? <laughs> it's like, and she's like, oh, I was just curious. Like, I don't know. Like, did you intend to make them all sound the same? 
It's like, wow, thanks for that one. That's what I got to say to you. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Not bitter at all. Mm -hmm. Um, All right. Did you add this in the English side? Yeah. All right. Uh, Someone has not been updating that. I I make mistakes. Um, I'm just horrified. Um, We need... Do you want to do... Uh, we can do spoon now. I think spoon. Two, three, five. Two, three, four, five, six. There's six F words. Hmm. Updating our numbers. I was trying to see what, what else was lagging. I mean, regardless... W still lagging because you hate it, but also because it comes from a very specific yeah, form. Yeah, there and shouldn't so be that many. It actually makes sense that it's lagging. Um, some of these are deceptively high because when you actually go to the entries, and this is like at some point we may want to try to figure out how to really, you know, because like some of the T's are not actually T's. They're palatal, they're kiss because it's spelled T-Y. And so it's like, it's a little bit misleading that we have so many like K and T words where K represents, you know, but it's not that in the proto form, right? These are all T in the proto form. So, so really it's, Oh, Oh no, you're right. Cause some of them are K in the proto form. I see, but only, only three of them. Well, and that's fine. Maybe we want more of those forms in here. And, you know, maybe we want a k word instead of a, a t word, yeah. even though we have a lot of t's. But and it's like, k's. like they're, yeah. they're both high. Like, I mean, they should be. They should be because k also represents the fricative and, mm-hmm. um, you know, the actual k. But it also, like, I feel like k is the one that does like triple duty. Because um, it's the k, it's the h, which we have a lot of. We actually... Well, I guess not. Mm, okay. They were just all at the beginning. Um, I had a cute idea. What if the word for spoon was num? Ooh, I like it. All right. Let's make sure it comes out the way I think it's going to. Oh, goodness. I'm tired. Yeah, you remember that one time you, you, got, you got all of my case for yawning? That's because you shouldn't have yawned. I deserve to yawn. I'm tired. Oof. Okay, so if we put num in the proto form, it's going to come as out as num. Um, let's see what happens if we do this. Num. Num. How can we just get num? I think we probably can't because it's a long vowel. Well, uh, what do you like? What do you like the sound of better, num or num? It's like the end of the eye test where they're like A or B, and you're like, <laughs> swear you're you're now doing it backwards, and I think you're showing me the same thing twice. <laughs> um. A, actually, those were exactly the same. So clearly, you are capable of lying to me. Now we have to go back to the beginning of the eye test. Yes. <laughs> Okay, so <clears throat> num or num. Num or num. So is it going to go up? Num. Or is it going to go down? Num. Down. Down. Num. Okay, then it's N U M. All right. Do we have any nouns that end in an M? We do. <gasps> Zoom. But that one goes up. This one's going to go down. <clears throat> Spoon. That's the word I'm entering. <laughs> All right. Oh, my word. That's a cute word. 
Let me see. I think that's... I feel like this should also... Mm -hmm. I think that spoon should also be a word for like a, any scoop. So scoop or spoon. And then the augmentative form should be the word for bucket. Hmm. Okay. So just like, what do you think? Spoon and, but then also <clears throat> scoop. Like, like, um, <clears throat> you know, like an ice cream scoop, not like, like, oh, an English scoop means too many things. But um, I just mean like any utensil that allows scoop, you to. Utensil used for scooping, not that which is scooped. Thank you. Because <laughs> I realized even when I was like, you know, like an ice cream scoop, I'm like, well, gee, I could have just. Yeah. That that doesn't actually help. Goodness, I love English. And then we have one augmentative. Do we want another? Because it's the word for star. For this one, maybe <clears throat> so, because it's a a baby augmentative, if you will. It's like it's not like the giantest scoop. Maybe that's the Big Dipper if they follow our constellations. But you know, like it's it's just a a slightly bigger is a pail or a bucket. Okay, we need a word for father. Or let me make sure we don't have a word for bucket. We need a word for father or mother. We don't have words for father or mother. No, and so those can be a part of our lexemer entries, right? But we can use those. We can use those as augmentative suffixes. I like it. I'm just sorry. I'm like, what were we doing when we made words? Yeah. <clears throat> and then we're gonna get to bucket pail. Okay, so this is where we're headed. Yeah, and so now the question is um, for these old, old augmentatives that are going to come from a word for mother or father, should it should the word mother or father precede the noun, which is the old place for modifiers, or should it follow? And then, of course, the question is, do we want to use the word for mother or father for this? Maybe let's let's stop putting the cart before the horse. All right, first, mother. Yes. Bzzk. In the proto form, B Z Bard I K. Bzzk. <laughs> I'm not feeling that. Um, that could be father. I'm not feeling it, it for mother. I had a feeling. All right. Give us something for mother. Okay, this is, I'm going to say it all wrong, but. Okay. Hush. Like X, U. Okay. Hush. Like, I feel like that'd be a very calming sound. Hush. Hush. Yes, mom. I think you're right. Mm. Mm. There we go. Except that's, <clears throat> yeah, more than <clears throat> one. I got it. Oh. Alright, let's see. Dang, we don't have any nouns that end in that sound. You're welcome. Yeah. I like to challenge you. I wonder if we have any that end in we do have that. Something. Okay, and then this will be some interesting alphabetization choice. K H after K T. Thank you for putting it precisely that way. <laughs> I thought maybe you had your reasons. 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> My reasons are. I tell you, sassafras. <laughs> Oh, okay. Ooh, and the, um, what is that? Partitive plural is going to be zrsh. Mother, mom. Okay, so we've got... Is that uh, is that r uh, uh, uh? It was the the retroflex z followed uh -huh. by by either a schwa or a central, really? you know, one of those two. Okay. Um, um, I intended an l, okay. but it could have been an r. All right, let's go take a look. And I would not be not opposed be an to a, an epsilon or an uh there. You know, like je. Ooh, I kind of like that. Or je. Je? Je? Kind of like that, too. I like that. Okay, let's, let's do that way instead. <clears throat> see what it comes out of. Yes, and then yishi, yishi, yes, like that. All right. Uh, what was that word that we just did that ended in L? Um, firewood. That was it. A, was w. It was a W. Mm -hmm. Was spelled. It is spelled Z H E L. Well, I meant in the English form, the romanization form. Mm. Z Y E L H. Z Y I E L H, I believe, yeah. Yes. I couldn't see your screen. And then Z Y I uh, and then Z, yeah, it's just going to be Z there. Oh. I need the English side. I was trying to enter S and F in the wrong place. Um, but actually, there we go. I don't know what happens to the... It's a... Uh, it's, uh, that's what happens. Oh, we are on a roll. And now we're going to make our choice for the augmentative form based on what sounds best as a prefix. We can do that. I also have another idea. Um, but I need to check on something. Z, okay, good. Z, that's what. Okay. Just checking on the forms. Yeah, um, <clears throat> I have an idea. Mm -hmm. Why not do both, and then let um, let our possums decide to use one or the other based on which sounds better. I like it. All right. Okay. So. Uh, okay, so there's that, and that's that's fine and good. But now the question of are we doing a suffix or prefix? Basically, how old is this? 
I say prefix. All right. It's old. Ancient, really. Do you want to call them like 2A and 2B? Because <laughs> they're going to be like essentially meaning the same thing. Yeah, like... Instead, like... This is more like... Um, honestly, this is more like ameliorative. And this is more... These are more like augmentatives. And we'll do these in alphabetical order. So uh, first is going to be... So we're starting off with that. And we're starting off with... Um, this now the question is how are they going to show up as prefixes they're both main vowels they might let's, let's do something that's really going to obviously be stressed gel brill brill um um, but, uh, I mean, do you want to do uh, our word for spoon? Oh, sure. What is our word for spoon in the proto form? Um, I believe it's in U M or the N the you know E M M. That's right. But it's an N, yeah. Perfect. Mm. Let's just see what happens. I thought something like this might happen. So the E drops out. Okay. And you have... We said the L's could be... Um, yeah. Syllabic, right? So it'd be like... So yeah, because it's a palate blaze L. And then Krishnan. Well, I mean, for this one, I I feel like I, I know where where the votes would lie for which one to use. Um, but mm. yeah, how the that would actually Yeah. Let's okay. Let's just put these in because ear, right? Yeah. Yeah. This is, this is, these are wrong here. Um, I want to copy that style because those need to be in red. Well, these two. The first one doesn't matter. Um, okay, Luti, Knan, Sta, and Ug, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so. And then that would cause it to appell, yeah. That doesn't seem pronounceable. Well, I mean, it's pronounceable, all right. Well, let's just write them all out. But also, that would be why they would, perhaps, on that one, if they wanted to use an augmentative, go with the hush form. Oh, dear. Okay, so that's obvious. These... And the K would not be affected of Canon? Oh, no, it would. Okay. Yeah, all that would be affected. Like, it's going to be like double, triple, super affected. And so I'm just trying to figure this out. Okay. Um, we spell palatalize things with a augmentative, right? Zlian. And then this would be... Z Y D Y
I'm surprised that you're not commenting on how this seems like a bit much to you. Oh, it's awful. (laughs) (laughs) And it's not the... It's not even the pronunciation that's awful. It's look at how horrible that romanization looks. I know. Uh, it would be nice if you could just, you know, put the Y at the end and trust that all the previous are palatalized, but then you can't rely on that. It's so much easier in the orthography. Like, we never actually wrote out the romanization for this. No, we didn't. Okay. That's why I never know how to spell things or pronounce them once they're written. Um, so yeah, I mean, like, I I feel like as um, a river possum, we've just dropped augmentative two altogether and go with whatever becomes. You Probably, know? I think that um, the uh, palatalized L is just going to disappear in a few of these. But not here. So otherwise you'd get What if we say that it's just unacceptable for this prefix to be used with words? Yeah. <laughs> like there's just no entry because the possums are like, why? Mm-hmm. That could certainly be part of it. Oh, come on, come on, be a sport, be a pal. All right, there we go. Um, also, we need to make the ly red in the augmentative too, because that has changed. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we should make in the augmentative two box, Z, Y, and then L, Y in parentheses since it drops sometimes. Yes. Okay. So let's find out what happens here. It w- would it just be hush? Hush as a prefix? The um, Just not. the vowel on nose would no longer be long. Oh, okay. I was like, because it's still stressed, so it would. Yeah, I guess the the vowel stays. Yeah. It would be if it weren't stressed, which is why it, it goes away when we add that suffix, because it takes the stress and puts it on the end. Um, and so the vowel is shortened like in num path. No, I meant this vowel stays. Oh, this okay, vowel stays okay, the gotcha. Whole time. Sorry, yeah. But yeah, I guess it does. Um. Um, and then that L would no longer in luti be palatalized, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's pretty good. I mean, I obviously like one of these better than the other, but I'm trying not to be, you know, no, I think a matriarch it, about it. Look, I think it's good that both of them are there because this one will just show up in certain terms mm-hmm. where it just happens to sound good or not sound or it just feels too right. bad. Yeah, so like, you know. Yeah, like with the get? vowels, I'm not... Yeah. I'm not opposed to it, especially because that could at that point be one syllable versus kushug would always be two syllables. Yeah. And so like things like that, like the vowel initial, I'm on board with that. Um, and yeah, I mean, like some of the um, like juluti, where it would yeah. just kind of juluti, juluti, juluti. Yeah. like that I can see um, what I'm like. 100% like I, I hate even looking at it in the chart is leaf um, and it's be- that's it 
Zja. Zil zja. Zil zja. Zil zja. I'm not a fan of the sound of it, but like I like the sound of it much better than the Z Y L Y Z Y D Y A H. I mean, feels like yeah, feels like we need a. If we've learned if we've learned anything. Um, Gwen Stefani song to help us spell it from <laughs> math. It it should be um, it, it it should be that mm. right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I like it so much better. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's uh, let's create our word for bucket, which is going to be based on spoon or scoop. So the question is: Do we want chishnum or zhunyum? Yeah, I think we know the answer to that. <laughs> it's time to celebrate because we've got five words done yeah we're halfway to my initial goal of at least 10 words oh Whoa. <laughs> let me just show you my uh my little fox candy bucket here <clears throat> there you go are you gonna treat yourself to a, a cappuccino they're there no i'll take i'll take a regular one so we can make it legit all right Cheers, buddy. <laughs> mm. These were the ones that survived three days in a moving van. Oh, they're fine. And some of them got a little melty, but they're fine. mine looks good. Mm. Also realizing this is the first thing I've eaten today. Oh, I'll get... I'll, you know what? I'll get up and go to the trash because oh. then I can refill my coffee. Okay, but I was going to say I was going to take yours and put it over here. But if mm. you could ever open yours, I will take a, take the wrapper and use that as a, as a does you Ugh. refill excuse. Did I even get close on saying that? Right? No. Yeah. Kopi Co. The power of perseverance. Hmm. Mmm. 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 Yeah. Off I go while you decide what we're going to create next. Bad jazz. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. <laughs> God, I love Kobe Co. Mmm. The flavor of it. Mmm. Page Art Tim. probably gonna have to get a little bit closer I oh, know it's uh... <laughs> I didn't mean closer that way you got closer to the back of the couch not closer to me uh, how can I 
Look at look at how much space is between there. Man, there we go. Mm -hmm. You don't even like me. Mm. You're all right. <laughs> yeah, I'm right. I'm all right. Mm. All right. I think soup and spirit are candidates for um, just being roots. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cool. Um, soup? Yeah. Do soup. Ooh, also, mm -hmm. we wanted to do a word for bonfire, and that could be an augmentative of fire, right? It sure could. I could actually see semantically using any of the three. Right? Wow. I could actually see them having two different words. Mm. A uh, bonfire with the um, ameliorative to be like a ceremonial bonfire mm -hmm. versus like, I don't know, you know, bonfire in the backyard with uh, roasting s'mores with your neighbors. And so you got a big fire and it's technically a bonfire, but it's not like ceremonial. And at that point, it may take the augmentative. Yeah, I think I think that's good. All right, let's take a look. Zim. So uh, there's the gym. Probably not that. Let's see what happens. Um, oh, changes. Okay. Custom. Good. Hmm. Hmm. On those K words. Well, with this being a prefix, mm -hmm. this is going to also throw off the count. Mm hmm. Make sure I spelled it right. O U M, not U O M. Oops. Mm -hmm. This is um, bonfire, campfire, um, we'll say casual bonfire for a feast of friends. Geminids? Seems like an oversight. Indeed it does. Oh well. Hmm. Can't think of a word off the top of my head to check that. It's okay. Okay. Because we may not have any other words that need to be spelled. Oh, no, that appears just to be Geminin. Mm -hmm. 
Yep. Just a double. Okay. Hmm. Seems like a, a language that should have some sort of a Geminid character thingy in there. Or a writing system, rather. Uh -oh. We can add that to a list of things to fix, because I also want to fix Ningala for a little or something. Um, and then do you want to have um, a separate entry for Zumba? Zumfar. Um, yeah. go for right now. What's that? Another Copico. Hmm. Okay. Uh, let's... Do you want to drink a coffee? <laughs> Try to kill me, man. Well, if you wanted to continue the Copico goodness, but in mug form. Mm. Goodness gracious, no. One of these days, you're going to have to try Copico coffee. Because you know it's a coffee place, right? No, but I'm looking at what happened. Val totally dropped out. Yeah, because it was just a schwa. Uh, schwa. Zimpash. 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 Long, eh? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Where is this magical Kobe Co place? Um, like they're just a coffee company, so like you can just order it. I think. Oh, um, really? they, they probably have stores in Indonesia, but probably not here. Yeah. Oh, this is. Oh, that's cool. nice. Yeah. Return to soup and spirit. Yeah, that's good stuff. All right. I think I added the Z word. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes. Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah. Spirit. Yes. How about... Oh, shoot. Kin. Hold on a sec. We, we forgot to check in. Okay. Speaking of needing to fly tomorrow, but I don't think I have a check-in, right? You're going to do both of us? You're about to find out. Um, I have an idea though. Oh, I apparently haven't used this. B14 and B15, not bad. And then on the other flight, A55, A56. Yeah. Nice. Review all boarding passes. Cool. Okay. At Apple Wallet. I'm so happy. At all. We've got all the boarding passes. <laughs> I'm so powerful. Okay. Um, did you put all of them in, including mine, mm -hmm. in your wallet? Mm. I'm totally just going to put my own.
me. I'll put them all in. Yeah, why not? Then I can check you. Yeah. It'll be a it'll be a fight to see who can check e the other in. This is exciting. A fight. I like how you Okay. Okay, so now that you have all watched us check in. Woo woo. Um I was thinking something along the lines of crun or crin. Hmm. With a ch? K f. Oh, kfan. Okay. Oh, do I like kfan or kfin better? And I assume kfin is a bard eye? Yeah. Let's see how they both come out. All right, there's that. And now, here we go. Oh, right, because the, the bard eye is just going to go to uh. Um, so kvan or kvan? What would happen if we did like a straight up I, like an E? Hmm. Qu interesting. Uh... <gasps> yeah, Xin. Let's do that. All right, Xin. You got it. I mean, that's fun, right? Yeah, it is. By the way, another K word. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I promise the next word I create will not start with a K. This is cool, though, because, I mean, there are so many words in here that I don't need to go far to find another word that ends in N. And that was K-S-Y-I-E-N, right? Yes, K-S-Y-I-E-N. He's our little woodpecker. <laughs> it's known as our fridge. <laughs> is that what that is? Yeah. Oh. And what other? Okay, let me uh, see what happens. To oh, that. wait, this is soup? I said spirit. Oh, all right. Oof. That was close. I think that's what's going to happen to that. Let me double also, check. So as you're double checking this, just want to one more time in case we haven't done enough shout outs. Um, Graham, Memer, thank you. You've made this possible because being able to just pull up Lexergy, having it all preloaded and everything like that. I, I know you know what an awesome thing that is for us, but like at times I'm mm. like, do you really understand how amazing that is? Mm. So I just wanted to, to make sure there was a shout out while you were working. Mm. And I realized I only put on Do Not Disturb for an hour, and it's been an hour. So I need to Do Not Disturb for another hour. Uh, okay. The idea is that that's why they that's why they mummify the bodies. Mm -hmm. Because I think if the body is destroyed, then the soul is as well. Mm. All right. Adding that note in there, so I remember for Lexergy. Lexergy. Luxember. Got it. Wrong Lux word. Okay. All right. Now we can talk soup. Soup, soup, soup. Which will not begin with a K, as mm. promised. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Begin with a H. <laughs> <laughs> or a K. <laughs> also spell K. Um, okay. Actually, you know what? Let's go back to your bzz idea, right? Okay. Um, and bzz or bzzg. I'm gonna I'm gonna try another one as well. Go for it. So this is your suggestion. I wanna 
Let's see what happens if we do this. Zwick. Bzil. I mean, one sounds more appetizing than the other to me, but that's just me. Which one? <laughs> I like how offended you are. You are so offended. I'm about to be. Which one? <laughs> Not the one that sounds wooshy at the end. Bzuk is the one that sounds more appetizing to uh -huh. you? Uh-huh. How? Bzuk? Bzuk. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you obviously like the other one better. I do. I think it sounds more elegant. Bzuk. Then let's do it. No. We, but... What? Yes, because oh my. how many times do we go with something I want just because I'm like, and so let's do mjuk. No, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna get us some bzuk. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I insist. Put a little bzuk in that. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds now it sounds like a different kind of spirit. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Uh, that's all right. We can use we can use bjil for for something else. No, you're right. That sounds more soupy. Mm, I don't know. No, you said it sounded unappetizing. My 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 my. <laughs> I really like it when I can get you going. Yeah. Oh, there we go. And I really. Are you seriously not using yours? No, just we're gonna, because I'm going to save it for something else, something special. Actually, this is the bard eye. And this was a UO word or an OU word? UO. UO. Good, I spelled it right. So many S words on the English side. As a reminder that our language is horribly misbalanced with. <laughs> oh yeah, no, like S is always overrepresented. Which is why in Wheel in of English. Fortune you buy an R S T L N E, mm -hmm. and then they just gave them to you because they were like, well, shoot, everyone does that. Yeah. And then C M D A became the next front runners after that, if you noticed. I see. Hmm. I would go for the alveolar, so D, yeah. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, you're working. Easy. There. All right. And now we have peppy soup. Zip. Got my bzoop and my noom. Uh. <laughs> mm. oh. We have a word. No, I'm not putting that in my notes. No, I'm going to delete it. My goodness. All right. Now, so now what is going to be? Crypt. <laughs> kind of like it. B Z Y I E L H. This is 
needs. You know what? I don't need that bitch. That's good. Now, um, you gotta give me a sec to figure out the other forms. They're not far she. <laughs> Uh, it's going to be <laughs> Zier. Zier Ooh, that's kind of fun. See, this sounds much more weighty than just soup, which needed to be. I mean, soup is the best food, though. Is it? Or a stew? Because you like thicker things. I mean, same thing. As I just give you a look. If soup, it doesn't even count as soup if there's not things in it. Then it's just broth. Right, but soup tends to be brothier than stew, and stew tends to be heartier and meatier with more, like, in eh. a thicker substance instead of a brothy substance. That's what I want when I get soup anyway. Does it mean anything other than crypt? No. Okay. Just checking. So I can scroll away from the English side and go back up here. Okay. We now, we made 10 new words. Yay. Okay. So now we have okay. met the minimum goal that I had for this episode. Yeah. Um, and so now we can... Uh, decide to beatbox for the rest of it or or create some more words Let's see Where do words for stairs come from? Oh, you know what else I thought of I, I want to look this up Yeah, so uh, the word oh, I guess it, I get it, it comes from Zagan that makes sense. But like the word saga, it honestly sounds like a word that like a beginning conlinger would come up with. <laughs> Just sounds terrible though. Those Vikings. They didn't know what they were doing. Saga. <laughs> terrible. All right, stare. Old Norse is on my list of languages I want to learn. Uh, you practically know it anyway. Base meaning to climb. No, but look at this. It just comes from, like, almost directly from Indo-Europeans. Just, you to know, climb. Work, walk, walk, proceed, march, climb. But then it, it's just this. Yeah. It's just escalators. Old school, yeah. Yeah. Stagris. Stagri. If you like the origin of climb, then we do have a verb for to climb in in the language, so let's take a look at it. Ah, uh, yit. <laughs> That's pretty good. Um uh, however, we're going to need to do the next thing, which is look at this, look at this woefully inadequate table. Because we don't have any. We've got nothing. We've got nothing. Yeah. We need something there. We need a thing that says, like, it does this. Let's first go to our relative clauses and figure out how they work. The opossum saw the child who bit the rabbit. That's what the other eye means. Opossum, child, Lutie's rabbit? Mm-hmm. And this is saw. Mm hmm And then Izga is child again, I think. And um, I saw the child who bit Bit the rabbit. Oh wait, that's like the pronoun. Rabbit is gunny. These guys got to be bite. Oh yeah, you're right. 
of the child's biting or of the rabbit's biting. Yeah, and who is bitten by. Right. Okay, I see how those work. For whom the rabbit bit the leaf. That's where that fwa comes in. And this basically just shunts the whole thing off to the right. Yeah. Because it's at that point kind of separate claws. Yeah. Okay. Because we're look what we're looking for is, you know, climbers, things that climb, but inanimate things that climb. So um Ivy. Uh, I, I mean, thank you, but no, uh, we're, we're trying to do a, a derivational strategy here. Um, what are inanimate things that climb? No, no, no. We're, we're trying to find a strategy to make an inanimate noun based on a verb. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, so, um, I was like, what? <laughs> you want a climber? I'm going to give you a climber. Okay. So. So this is the child who bit the rabbit. If we take Luti out, it's Ug Izgani. That's just the child who bit. And then the child Izga would be the child who was bitten. Would, okay, what if we did like a, a basic proto, or not proto, but a pronoun, um, and it would be, I would say ah, so climb ah, because thing that's climbed is a climber, and like it gets put together as like a... Oh yeah, but like we could, we could do both, is what I'm saying, and just have, have two different strategies. So I think that you're correct for what we want for stairs, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, but there's no reason we shouldn't have both of these strategies and write them both up because they'll both be useful. And how, and like just put like a third person pronoun. Or, oh, wait, we didn't have third person pronoun. Was this the language we did that? Yes. We just did like um, demonstratives. Okay, so I actually we probably want like a generic word meaning thing because yeah. the demonstratives are complex. Yeah. Make sure we don't have a thing. We have an all and an everything. But yeah, we don't just have a generic thing. Um Word for stick, word for stone, um, an obvious tool like a spoon. <laughs> it should be it should be small. Right. Um, okay. Will you sticky a lot in here? <laughs> yeah. Okay. We don't have a word for stick. Okay. So we could make one that we specifically, we also don't have stone. Do we have branch? To hang as on a branch. Okay, antler or branch is taiba. Oh. That's not right. Um, the, this, that, okay, can you put a noun and a zero, zero after that and then add another hmm. number to the T's? Um, but I feel like for possums, because we do envision them in trees a lot, mm -hmm. 
I feel like stick is going to be their most generic thing. Okay. It's just a stick. And I feel like they would interact with sticks more than stones. I don't know why, but I do. Okay, so here's, here's uh, before we get too far, mm -hmm. here's a question. Do we want to do, so this will be like, you know, active, passive. Um, do we want to do this where it is, you know, three separate words or do we want to do something like that and it's one word? Um, and I'm also thinking of where inflection is going to go, like I don't know. We do. Um, I feel. You know what? Let me double check for the reflection. All right, we have motion versus action. Okay, but they are. We didn't inflect for person though, right? Mm -mm. Okay, so it's just all the verb itself is not the issue. The issue is, yeah, how plurality would work, which is a prefix. Mm -hmm. In my brain, it makes more sense to keep stick at the beginning mm. to be able to pluralize it and whatnot. Um, Unless we wanted to say this is a special class of nouns that can't be pluralized. It's just, it has no plural form. It's just, it is. But then... And then do we want to make this thing a suffix? Like we did with the pahla? The uh, ni. Yeah. I actually think we should smush them together and have a reduced form of stick and then ni and, or an a uh, as like prefix and suffix combo. Oh, uh, well in that case, where's the inflection gonna go? Uh, just the dual. Um, everything else is a prefix. Mm -hmm. But what about the dual? You go nuts and say that these don't have duels. I mean, that's where I was leaning. Um, hmm. I'm, I think they should only have singular and plural forms. They are derived nouns and dual is often treated different in a lot of languages that have it with what can actually take the dual. Yeah. Problem is like the, for the words that we're going to be coming up with these duals should actually be useful. They're objects, you know, like they're going to be utensils and things like that. Make sense for those to have duals, like much more sense than like nose, for example. I mean, we're going to run into the problem if we make it the other way around, because then the prefix doesn't make as much sense if mm -hmm. the verb is up front. Unless the prefix actually gets smashed between the verb and the stick. Mm. Mm. Before we decide that, do you just want to come up with a root for stick? No. No? Okay. This is a conundrum. 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 Mm -hmm. Um. I 
I mean, we can just. Oh, wait, that doesn't bypass it either. Either which way. Never mind. And don't most of our nominal, those are our only nominal inflections. We don't have um, yeah case or anything. No, I just departed it. Okay. Which requires the prefix. Why? Why in this language did we have dual as a suffix? Was it because it was related to two? Mm -hmm. It was just blank two. Yeah. And so, I mean, to get around it, say there's no single word dual form, but I mean, you can still have the noun followed by two. Like climber two. Yeah, you could always do that. To specify. I mean, you do that in any language as a dual. <sighs> oh, gosh. Yeah, I guess. I guess. Hmm. He's so very happy. Killing me, Sassafras. I don't know uh, what else I would be here for. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I think that the form for stick should be uh, CBC, where the middle uh, V is schwa. Okay. And it so it makes a nice suffix. Oh, I'm sorry, a nice prefix. Is there um, <laughs> is there a, a specifically thinking coda consonant? Is there a consonant that plays better with other segments? Just something like not. I think that the palatal. <laughs> yeah, I, I think the second consonant should be L, N, M, or R. Okay. Some kind of sonorant. How about we have others? Tun. Tum. I like that. I did want us just take a look at our consonants. But yeah, I like that. I like that. Let's let's do that. And by the way, these this new word, like, you know, her new word for stick can be a Luxembourg word. Yeah. Oh, better believe it. I'm not wasting anything we come up with. Good. Glad we're on the same page there. Dom. Dom. Good. That was O U M. O U M. Had to make sure I heard the rising or falling mm -hmm. correctly. when you're trying to spell in another language. I think that's what that comes. Yeah. Centered on the English side. All right, now let's go here. Let's see. Chant of animals. And then patient of animals. Damn it. Um, eh. 
it's good. Why not? I mean, just go crazy. Yeah. And then over here, I don't even know. Um, this is actually probably good. Um, so now we just need three verbs that fit that. Okay. All right. Um, to hear is a s y ash, or to follow ashish, to leave up. Let's just do that. Um, leave. Okay. Okay. And now we need a voice. Uh, how about ban for voiced? Yeah. To jump. Uh, to exit is... What's to climb? Push. <laughs> to climb was I-E-T. Oh, that one's confusing. Let's just do this one. Yeah, F-O-U-L-H. Push. And that's... Uh, what was it? What did it mean? To exit. To exit. We have a word that means to leave and a word that means to exit. Yes, we do. We had a whole discussion about that, too. Um, do you want different examples so that way it doesn't look so embarrassing in that? No. Um, to stretch is ch. Nah, that's all right. is to see. Okay. I wonder what happens. What was, uh, what, um, what happens to me? Um, what did that come from? What was its proto form? Um, that's it's like stand. To stand, which is in epsilon and then uh, phi. Okay. It's, uh, but that's okay because this is, this happens after. Yeah. Just like that's how we have to battle. So um, but not this. What is exit? Oh, the proto form I think is you. Oh, it's a phi schwa r. Yeah. And then to jump should just be B A N. Yeah, it is. And by the way, one of the reasons we have to leave versus to exit is um, part of the verbal prefixes that we came up with, which are all, I guess, derivations, verbal derivations, mm -hmm. but we didn't enter them. But all the manner and locational. Anyway, one verb was used for one thing and one verb was used for another with a semantic difference. Uh, I should probably enter those at some point in time. Oh, Timposhni. Mm, I like that. All right. It's tomato. The only thing that we don't know is what happens. She wants some tomatoes. <laughs> is what happens when it ends in a vowel. Ends in a vowel. Okay. Um, um, one moment. We're going to look for a verb again. Oh, a T is to dig. A K I is its proto form. A K I. I think that it's just going to get added. 
And Isga is to bite if you wanted a different. Yeah, I think it's just gonna say Isga. Okay. Yeah, he's gonna. Otherwise, I'm yeah. not gonna lie, we don't have too many. Uh... Oh, to love. Minya. Yeah, Minya. Yeah. yeah, it's fine. It'll just get tacked on at the end. I mean, same thing with Ni. All right. Good. Okay, so then. So now we have this. And so climb. It's a difficult one. Yes. And these are things that get climbed. I.e. stairs, yeah. which is where this all started. What? Tomita? <laughs> I like this word. Yes. No, um, it's no, it's stressed wrong. Um, it's just like this one. It's stressed wrong. Um, it, it, the stress needs to be on the other thing. Um, okay, there we go. TMIDA, I was correct in seeing that on the screen, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, and for this, I'm going to wait and see how you enter it. Oop, you had a little metathesis there. Sure did. Okay. Oh, should I have said, well, that's an interesting way to spell TMI. <laughs> <laughs> Next is going to be... That that doesn't have that. And then that is clear enough. And then this will be It would be Uz D, right? Yeah. That was the proto form for that. Stairs, staircase. Yes. Stairs or staircase or both? Um, I think it needs. That's interesting. That is really interesting. Yeah. Because step or stare would be the initial, right? Like you wouldn't think you'd have a whole series of them right away. Mm. But then to get an actual staircase. Would staircase just be the plural of stair? Yeah. So or would there be some sort of augmentative? Well, in that case, would a singular be the same as a step stool? Stair, step, step stool. Mm. I think that maybe it, it should be, the singular should be, because it's something that climbs, it should be a staircase. And so it, it would need some sort of a, a, stingu a singular, a singulative to get a single stair out of it. Okay. Okay. Staircase. Would they also call a ladder? A tamida. Because it's an entire entity that gets climbed. Yeah, honestly. No distinction. Yeah, I like that. Okay. And then, yeah.
And staircase comes first. Okay. Got those injured. Yeah. All right. Um, so unless you can think of a thing that's warm from which the adjective warm would be derived, let's do, um, let's just do ax real quick since uh, we're going to do that as a root unless you want to do a chopper. Oh, that could be fun. Yeah, then we'll then we'll have a then we'll have a word that ends in ye. Chop and chopper, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. And I'm guessing we don't have a verb meaning to chop, right? No, no, no. We, we, okay. We I just it. had to make sure we we done it. Yeah. To chop, and then we're gonna have axe built off that. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Knowing this is going to go with. Yeah. It's going to okay. start with TM. Axe is going to start with TM. Mm -hmm. And it's going to end in Yi. Mm. Okay. What makes you think of to chop? Aka. Love it. All right. And Maka. No, I'm to. Would it voice? To Maka Nyi. To Maka Nyi. This one doesn't voice in the middle, Aka. Uh, I don't know. Let's find out. Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah. Okay. Tamakanyi would be the word for X. Do we like that or is it too long? I kind of love it. All right. Then let's find a verb that ends in A. He's got. No idea. I I don't even I don't remember how verbs work. I try to forget that they exist in this language. Well, I think it's going to be a g u l h a goof for is goof. Just be a where the e's is, right? Um. Oh, a goof. Okay, yeah, it wouldn't voice you right. Yeah, I guess. So otherwise it doesn't change. Yeah, so Akush. Akush. All right. Good. And then, so then, Tamakanyi. Tamakanyi. This is going to need an um, an accent mark to keep the stress on the. Yeah. It's actually. Is it? It would be. It's Makanyi. Because it wants to be near the end, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's gotta. Did we ever write the rules for accent marks? I don't think we really wrote much anything about writing things out in this language. Mm. Do we know how ni is spelled? <laughs> oh, when it's spelled. We have it up here, don't we? Yes, we do. Mm -hmm. 
So he's got... I mean, it's in the dictionary, too. Oh, it is? Yeah. Huh. Because it's a, it's a postposition. N-E. Good. All right. Just N-E. That's what that was, what my guess was going to be. Where's the end of any consonant receipt? Ultimate stress. Penultimate stress. Yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. And so that was our... We did write that out. Good. All right. There we go. High five to our past selves remembering to write one thing down. <laughs> okay. But I need to change that. Okay. Oh my gosh. We hit 14. Yeah. Two weeks worth. Excellent. All right. So excited. Good deal. All right. All right. I got a skedaddle. Yes, you do. And so thank you all for those who are watching. And uh, <laughs> hope you have a wonderful day and week. Stay grammar. We can't wait to be live with you again on the 16th. Until then, bye. Bye. <laughs>